Ask Reddit by Somewhere Tough 5772. What's a common misconception about mental health that you wish more people knew the truth about? Deleted. Not to mention the sheer anxiety many have over even attempting a new medication. That there are always signs. No a person can be functional, but may be on the brink of offing themselves every night. This. I had depression and CPTSD, a type of PTSD related to a pattern of events vs 1 a few traumatic episodes, since I was in middle school. Only one friend guessed about the depression and even my spouse never realized how bad it was until recently. I'm currently in my late 30s. I was extremely high functioning while all the time wondering why I bothered to stay alive. Not two people with the same diagnose experience it in exactly the same way. You can't. Different experiences and different thoughts lead to different dopamine levels and such. I'm not an expert on what brain chemicals make one feel a certain way. Even a car, I know it has no feelings, will have different gas, oil, and transmission fluid levels than the next one. People will have different levels of all these receptors making one feel different than the next, but then the overall combination of levels will be more similar and will make two people feel similarly depressed than someone with totally different levels. My way of thinking about it now. Bed rotting it's not a fucking trend. Just because you are sad doesn't mean you are severely depressed. On the other hand, don't assume all depressed people look sad, and therefore dismiss don't believe them. We are not all a little bit ADHD, yes everybody can get a little scattered from time to time but saying things like that diminishes the struggle someone with ADHD faces. Yeah I agree. I always say sure you can exhibit some of the same tendencies sometimes but for people with ADHD it's literally all the time. Just because you see me smile and eat doesn't mean my disorders are cured or faked. Being moody and being bipolar are completely different things. Not all bipolars experience mania. You can in fact work and have a life even with a serious mental disorder. Episodes aren't always on, there are stable moments. Meds do work but not for everybody two people with the exact same disorder can experience completely different symptoms. If you think someone is experiencing suicidal thinking, ask them directly. You are not putting suicidal thoughts in their head by asking. And often, when asked, the suicidal person will respond honestly. But also, if you ask, be ready for the answer. Don't go asking someone whether they have thought of suicide, and once you're told the affirmative, feel too uncomfortable to engage. If you open that door, be ready for what comes in. People with suicidal ideation need actual support, not empty gestures. OCD is often not knocking on every door 3x, being scared of germs, and lining things up in a row like the media portrays. It's a heck of a lot more varied than that. Mine actually mimics psychosis in some ways. I go through phases where I'm paranoid about being followed, paranoid about people being in my head reading my thoughts. Paranoid about people watching me when I think I'm alone. I've taken to talking out loud to myself pretending I'm explaining my thoughts for a talk show or a conversation to cope with it. Exercise is not going to cure my mental health issues. Neither are supplements. My bipolar isn't just going to disappear. It's a lifelong thing I will have good days and bad days and the best treatment is why I have a psychiatrist and therapist. Having a mental illness doesn't make you who you are. Being rude and saying things you shouldn't doesn't not always come as symptom. Sometimes you're just a shitty person with X illness. Just because I look neutral it doesn't mean that I'm not happy. Totally agree. Why is it that I have to be outgoing, talkative, laughing and smiling? When I'm neutral it doesn't mean I'm upset or not happy I just don't show it like that always and I wish more PPL understood that semicolon semicolon. That you can see when someone is depressed and or suicidal. More often than not you can't. So be kind to people. 
you don't know who needs your kindness today. That depression is just being sad. It's mostly about not experiencing joy. Also that you can't have depression if you don't have something to be sad about. Actually you need to not have something to be sad about. If I had something to be sad about it wouldn't be an illness would it? It'd be a normal ass emotion. I wish people would stop attributing violent crime to mental illness. They are obviously not unrelated, but it's too often automatically assumed that violent criminals are mentally ill when lots of them are just assholes. In fact, mentally disabled people are more likely to be victims of violence than perpetrators of it. And it's very hard to report because mentally disabled people are inherently not trusted about their own experience. That using medication is cheating or some kind of cop-out. If you can control mental illness, I mean alleviate symptoms, not just tell everyone around you to deal with it, great. That's one less medical thing you have to deal with. If you need medicine to control your illness, that's okay too. That's why medicines exist they are tools, and sometimes you need a specific tool to accomplish a task. People with bipolar disorder aren't insane. Emetophobia. It's not yeah nobody likes to throw up. And it is actually not even just the fear of throwing up but so much more and can have such a great impact on your life. Well said. Usually it's a chronic illness and it doesn't get better with specific food and exercise I mean sure, there are benefits to it to maintaining physical health, but it's BS to tell someone who can barely function to lift weights or whatever not only it isn't gonna help but it will likely make the person feel worse, given that it's another task they cannot finish. Might be good advice during good times, bit terrible during a crisis a crisis means the basics for survival. My take is, would you say this to a person with a migraine attack a heart condition changing eyes flare then don't say it to someone with depression. Generally speaking you just shouldn't ever give advice about it on reddit or the internet at all. You will get the wrong answer and that will cause problems. Go to a professional is all you should ever tell someone. Having well controlled depression anxiety doesn't mean you're happy all the time. It's normal to feel depressed or anxious in certain situations. Medication just means you don't feel that way all the damn time without reason. Mental health equals equals mental illness. It's a spectrum. Someone can be struggling with their mental health without being mentally ill. That PTSD isn't all combat flashbacks, thumping helicopters and hiding behind the couch screaming. My employer found out about my diagnosis and there was an emergency meeting of SR management while they discussed whether or not I was safe to be around. Because I might flip out and kill by reflex and without thought, because that's what that guy did in that movie that the secretary saw that time. I'm not sure where I heard this, but it stuck with me for years. Having good mental health does not mean being happy all the time. Having good mental health is being able to react appropriately given the situation and knowing that it's okay to feel certain feelings. If something devastating and sad happens it's okay to feel numb for a while or sob uncontrollably, scream and cry even. If something shocking and horribly happens that warrants you flying off the handle, it's okay to fly off the handle. Good mental health is balancing the good and the beautiful with the bad and the ugly and being at peace with yourself knowing that what you feel is okay. That's a very insightful perspective on mental health. It's crucial to recognize that experiencing a range of emotions, including sadness, anger, and shock, is a normal part of being human. Being able to process and express those emotions in a healthy way, without judgment or shame, is a sign of good mental health. It's about finding balance and being at peace with yourself, even amidst the ups and downs of life. Thank you for sharing this wisdom.